Hello, what we're looking at right now is we are looking at how we create a synthetic position in a underlying asset by using options. Okay, now when I'm talking about synthetic, you know, that's something that is not the, the actual part. It's something that we have actually created to pre provide something that is very similar. Okay, um, so one of the things we're going to look at here, and I'm just going to use an example by looking at a stock that I'm rather fond in, which is Tesla, Tesla Motor Company, right? They're currently trading at $209.05, okay? And what we're showing here is, all right, if I think, if I have some information that I think that, hey, the price in Tesla is going to rise, what I could do with this is that I could just say, all right, I am going to just buy the stock of Tesla, right? I'm just going to take a long position of Tesla. I'm going to spend $209 per share on this, okay? Uh, but let's say I have really good information and I want to leverage this up a little bit. Well, one thing that I know I can do is that I can, uh, I can actually go in and I can look at options, right? Is that I could purchase here, is that I could purchase a call option, okay? So I could buy a call option, okay? And let's say that we're going to use that call at a strike price of $210. Okay, so we're going to buy that call at $210, okay, and we're showing here a strike price, right, we're showing that strike price of $5, or excuse me, the premium amount at $5, so we have a $5 premium, so we're going to pay out $5 per share, okay, and we think that that, that stock is going to go up to, say, $220, Okay, so at expiration, let's say the stock price is at $220, we know that we can buy that stock, right? We can buy at $210, and then we'd be able to sell at $220, right? Because we exercised that option at the strike price at $210. So we made $10 on that, and then we have to subtract off our $5 premium. So we know that my net gain here is a positive amount of $5, okay? But we have a little bit of a problem here, right? So we know that we have uh, what, what the most we can lose. The most we can lose is that premium amount, right? We know that the most we can lose is that $5, okay? But the other thing that I have here is I have a limited amount of capital. I have a limited amount of cash, right? And I want to leverage this up because I have really good information. I know the, that stock price is going to go up. Okay, so, um, and let me just make a disclaimer here. I, I, this is an example, so don't, I'm not saying go run out and buy Tesla, although I really like the company, uh, but we're just doing a, an example. Uh, disclaimer over. All right, so we know that the company's at, at $5, right? So we know that the amount we're having to pay out is $5 per share, okay? Now, what we can do is that we can leverage this up a little bit more and we can figure out how are we actually going to pay for that. Okay. Now, what we could do here is that we could we could still buy that call. Okay, so we could buy the call, right at a strike price of two ten. The premium amount is is that five dollars. Okay. The way that we could pay for that. Okay. And I'm going to. I'm going to draw the the payoff here, right? So the way we could do that is that we have the call that we bought. We have a $210 strike. It goes up. We have a $215 break even, and that's our long call. Okay. The way we could do that is that we have this $5 premium that we're having to pay out of pocket, and how do we actually fund that, right? We have to pay that $5. Now, one way that we could do this that we could pay for that is that we could look on the other side. We could look down here at puts. Okay, and so we're showing puts here. A put is in the amount of two hundred ten dollars at a strike of two ten has a premium amount of four fifty five. So what we could do here is that we could sell a put, okay, with a strike price at two hundred ten dollars, right? And then what we would essentially get here is we would receive in the amount of four dollars and fifty five cents. Okay, so what we would have is we would have still at that two ten. We're going to have a put that looks like this. Okay, we still have a strike of 210, and we have a premium amount here of four dollars and fifty-five cents. Okay, so we are selling the put in the amount of four fifty-five. We are buying the call in the amount of five dollars. Okay, so what we have here is that we look at this and we say, all right, at a price, any price above 210, my long call is gaining in value. 
uh, and I'm just losing out on the premium. So if effectively here, as we're buying one put and buying one call, and our net cost here, right, is that our net cost is it's going to be 45 cents, right? It is going to cost us 45 cents to enter into this, okay? And what we effectively have here is a synthetic contract, okay? So um, what we're looking at is that effectively um, we have to move our break-even point. So we take our at 210, and then we have essentially here is that we have a 45 cent difference, okay? And so we have here a synthetic long position, okay? So this is the synthetic, okay? And that crosses the axis here at 210.45. Okay. The reason is that 21045 is that we have to add that net cost onto it. Okay. Because if it expired right now at the 210 is is um, is that we would lose 45 cents on it. Okay. So we just created a synthetic long position. Now the basic question that we have for you is why would we enter into this? Why would we do this instead of just buying the underlying contract? Okay. So what we're showing here is all right, let's, so we're looking at this is that if we only had, let's say we had $210 in our bank account. Okay, that's all we had in our account was $210. Okay, how many shares of Tesla could I buy? I could buy one share, right? One share of stock. Okay, now if I had $210, how many synthetic shares of Tesla could I buy? Right? I could take my 210, I could divide it by the 45 cents it, it costs, and that means I could buy 466 shares versus one share. Okay? So now what we're looking at when we did it initially, we said, all right, um, we said, all right, if we ended up going up to a price of 220, okay? If we went up to a price, if the price at the end ended up being at 220, Okay, and I bought the if I, all I did was I bought the underlying. That means that I would make ten dollars, right? If I just bought one share of stock, right? Now let's say I just bought the call. Okay, we know that I would end up with a net cost of five dollars on each on, on each option. Okay, my net cost would be five dollars. Now let's say price goes up to two hundred twenty dollars. Okay, and I bought all these calls, right? Is that the net cost here is two ten forty five, right? So that means my amount of gain, right? My amount of gain is going to be nine dollars and fifty-five cents per share, per underlying, right? And then we're going to multiply that by my four hundred sixty-six shares, which means that my return here at the end of the day, I'm going to have four thousand four hundred and fifty dollars in return. Okay, it's four thousand four fifty. Which you know what that return would be? That is going to be a two. Which you know how much that return is going to be? That return is going to be in the amount of 2,019%. That's a hell of a return, right? 2,000% return. That is a, an astounding return. Okay? Now, the real question though is, all right, that got a lot of upside, but what happens if um, the price goes down? Okay, the price goes down. Let's say price falls to uh, two hundred ten dollars. Okay, if you just bought that one underlying share, all you would lose, you'd lose. Uh, so the price falls. It was at from two ten. It goes down to say two hundred five dollars. Okay, if you started out with that, you would lose, you would have a, a $5 loss. Okay, and so a $5 loss on $210, um, right, that's only a 2.3% loss. Okay, now let's say we, we levered it up and we had um, 466 shares. Okay, and the price went down to 205. Our essential net cost here is the 210.45, which means that we have a loss of $5.45 loss. We have a $5.45 loss. 
which is multiplied then by 466 shares. Right, so we have a loss here of $2,539.70. Okay, now in percentage terms, so in percentage terms here, this shows us that we now have a loss in the amount of one thousand three hundred one one thousand three oh nine percent over a thousand percent loss a thousand percent okay is that a big number that is a very big number right we not only lost the entire amount that we invested we not only lost our entire principal amount we lost a lot more than that okay now we have the uh, the people coming after us threatening to break our legs because we owe them a lot of money. Okay, so there is a definite downside, and all we're showing here is that we can create a synthetic long position with the underlying stock. Okay, all right. I hope that was helpful.